Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, Bert, she's mine. say hi to my Ethan Channel. I love that little girl with the bright red hair. Oh, hi. Right now, I'm currently in the Everglades National Park, as you can probably tell. In this video, I'm gonna be shooting the Mosca 5. This is a six by nine, medium format, rangefinder camera. I'm gonna be shooting some XR100 in this camera, but I'm just gonna shoot landscapes today. There's not really, there's nothing else to shoot around here. Um, there's an alligator staring at me right now, but I need to finish this, so I'm just gonna stay here. I love it when other photographers just see me with this thing and they have like a Sony around their neck. They just gave me this look saying, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I love it. Listen, if you had a camera like this on you, you would be embarrassed too, okay? So don't judge me. And also, I just realized I'm wearing this shirt. I probably look like the biggest nerd on the planet right now. And I'm cool with that, honestly. This is probably not a smart move. Uh, he's staring right at me, but I'm gonna take his picture. Wow, that was cringe. So every time you take a picture, you want to move to the next frame, you open up your window like that. And you basically just spin this until you see a number two on here or near next frame. And you basically frame this. So for instance, right now I just shot my first frame. So I just move right along until I see your frame number two. And there's a frame number two. And there's a bug right there on my camera. Great. And then you, of course, remember to close it shut and you're on your next frame. So, yeah. There is bugs all over my camera for whatever reason now. This is embarrassing. Shout out to Mr. Alligator for making an appearance on the show. Uh, make sure you go follow his Instagram. Uh, link in the description. He's pretty cool. Back at the tower. How does it feel, man? Right now. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, uh, last time I came to this observation tower, we had to hike back five miles in complete darkness. No flashlight, no phones, no weapons, no nothing. We just had cameras. It's something I never thought I'd see again because I sort of vowed to never come back here ever again. But one month later, I'm back to shoot this thing because there's really nothing else to shoot here in Florida. don't want to take too many landscape photos because I've taken enough of them. Uh, I'm actually going to do something that I didn't do last time I was here. I'm going to take a double exposure of this landscape. Okay, getting off this car for a second tower. View is not that great. <laughs> I don't know why I came back here, but um, my phone's about to die, so I don't know if I'm gonna continue shooting this thing or I'm fine, just gonna continue somewhere else. I'm sure I'll edit something onto the screen right now to let you know what happens. Okay, I just charged my phone and I'm- uh, Buddy? Is this Paco? Yeah, Paco's back. 
Michael the bird, he wants a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Got anything to say, Paco? Nothing at all, huh? I'm telling you, man, Paco wants that Popeye's chicken sandwich. Popeye sponsor me. Yeah, he's not. He's not giving up. This guy wants the sandwich, dude. <laughs> yep, he's not giving up. He wants that sandwich, man. dearly don't don't grab it don't grab it stop yeah that's right stop it stop it stop stop <laughs> is he still following us he is yeah. isn't he yeah he is this guy does not give up he made it to the parking lot and he's still following us rushing right now because I want to catch that sunset I'm on the last frame of the 6x9 camera I didn't catch the sunset I just settled for this finish the roll now I'm gonna go home and do nothing Well, that was something. So it's been about two weeks since I shot this roll of film. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised at the results I got. They weren't that bad. Surprised at the results that I got from this camera, which I totally failed to introduce earlier. So here it is. So this is a six by nine medium format rangefinder that's also foldable. Yeah, the way the camera works is that you open it in the back here you have two viewfinders, one is to focus, one is to compose your shot. So to focus, you just want to flip up this little lever and then look into the finder. You want to rotate the lens ring and get your shot in focus. Now to compose your shot, you just move the camera to the right. And now you're looking through this little rectangular hole and you compose and you take the shot. Simple as that. Now, for those of you who don't know what a rangefinder is, it's a focusing mechanism where you see two images at once and you just move the lens until they're aligned. Once they're aligned, the image is in focus. Now, your shutter speed dial is right here in front of the camera. You just simply rotate this outer ring. And of course, the highest shutter speed on this camera is 1 to 50th of a second. The aperture ring is down here and it goes from 3.5 to f32. And of course, you focus by rotating this ring here. So that's how that works. Now, of course, this is a six by nine camera, which just means it shoots at a six by nine ratio, which gives you a pretty big negative size. As you can see, there are eight photos here, as opposed to a smaller negative size, which is six by six, gives you about 12 photos. Now, the idea is that the bigger the negative, the better quality the picture will have, but 
Honestly, it all really comes down to lenses at the end of the day. I mean, this is a great camera and everything, but it is a Soviet manufactured camera. In my experience, Soviet cameras aren't really known to be all that great, at least the ones I've used so far. I think where a camera like this really shines is the fact that it's really just compact for a medium format camera. I mean, if you want to compare it to another medium format camera that shoots a smaller frame, it is just, this is a lot more pocketable than this thing. You have a much better time packing this in as opposed to this clunky mess. I mean, the folding camera here could easily fit into a pocket as opposed to this Yashica that really just doesn't fit anywhere to be honest. So. so yeah, folding cameras are a lot more compact than this. And they shoot the same type of film. They're both medium format. So of course, having a medium format camera in your pocket is just unheard of unless you have one of these. So yeah, not a bad deal. Now, as I said earlier, I was very impressed by the shots that I got from this video. Um, Kodak Actar is extremely, extremely saturated, and I think it really worked for this video. I mean, I was only shooting landscapes. Now, early in the video, you saw me take a double exposure, which I just went and shot a normal photo like this. And then I flipped the camera around, shot the same frame upside down. And honestly, the result of it is interesting. However, I'm not really crazy about it, to be honest, but I'll definitely try more double exposures in the future like that. I think my favorite picture of this role has to be the portrait of Paco that I took. When I saw it in the form of a negative, I just lost my mind. Um, it's definitely one of those instances where the negative is better than the actual photo, but I'm so happy with the photo. I definitely shot more rolls through this camera in the past. I shot two rolls of Ultrafine Extreme 100, which is black and white film. And I also shot a roll of Portrait 400, and here are those photos. So yeah, that was the Mosca 5, or however you pronounce it. One of my favorite pictures I've ever taken was taken with this camera and it's that picture of the boy staring off into the sunset with the boats in the background. Honestly, I'm very proud of that picture. I did not know this kid at all. I didn't pose him. I was just sitting on the rocks waiting for the sunset and this kid just showed up out of nowhere and literally in five seconds I just took his picture, which five seconds may sound like a long time, but with this, it's, it's lightning speed. <laughs> All in all, I do recommend this camera. Um, I think it's great. It's pocketable for a medium format. Um, it only goes for about 50 to 60 bucks online right now. I paid, I think, 60 or 70 bucks for mine. Um, and mine was uh, like in excellent condition. It shipped out from the Ukraine, which took almost three weeks to get here, which you do have to wait. Most of these come from the other side of the world. So with all that being said, till next time.